stage of the game, I think I would swap Ayers and Morris, personally. Yes, Ayers doesn't have the height to combat Sewell. Could have pushed Sewell in the back there, too, just about. I don't get so much height as uh, not quite checking. McLean, that's a goal. Puts their lead by six points. McLean, his first goal. Great snapshot. Bulldogs looking good at the moment. Scoreboard 3 2 20 to 2 2 14. Bob, I think it's a good move having uh, McLean down there with Bam because it's given all against uh, Langford. Knocked out by Purse. That's a hefty knock. Uh, Lester Smith overruns the ball. He goes back after it again. Gets a hand pass out to McLean, the wrong man. Now McLean's clear. Puts Gray badly needing a goal. This is a long shot. Is he on target? But a great mark taken in defence there by New. So every player on the Hawthorne side now getting a lot more confidence now. They're 16 points in front. Oh, 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 That's a bad oh, kick oh, in. Oh, the ball marked here by McLean. Well, he'd only be about uh, 30 metres out now. He was looking to pass the ball to somebody. He should have a shot here because they badly need this goal because they're trailing by 16 points. And McLean going for goal number two. There it is on its way. And that is a goal. A ripper. So Footgrave bounced back. And that's their first goal score, I think, since about the 16-minute mark of the second quarter. Nine goals, 5.59 Hawthorne to Footgrave. Seven goals, 7.49. Two bad mistakes there by Bob. First of all, the hand pass from Lester Smith and then the kick out by Chris Mew. At least Lester Smith was under pressure. I, I find it unbelievable to think that uh, a player who can kick the ball as far as Chris Mew should try and uh, short pass to a player who's got somebody in front of him. We watch again on replay now as Chris Mew and uh, McLean in front of him.